Glue from Rabat. After a long trip from Marrakech, there are like several trains per day from Marrakech to the north part of Morocco and we just arrived after a three and a half hour uh, train ride we went to uh, get something to eat there are plenty of restaurants as you can see it's much more touristic and European I would say but, but we are now going to explore the old uh, city center the Medina of Rabat maybe and, even find the hot wine and uh, yes there are plenty of restaurants here which do serve beer and wine okay and still we have no place to sleep for tonight but hopefully we'll find a affordable place to stay in the center the medina of rabat is a charming and vibrant area that offers a glimpse into the city's rich cultural heritage the medina is one of the oldest part of the city and is characterized by its narrow winding streets traditional architecture and bustling markets once we entered the medina we found a wide variety of local shops and street vendors selling everything from traditional moroccan textiles such as rugs and carpets to handmade traditional items there are also many clothing boutiques with both traditional and modern clothes. The Medina is a great place to find traditional Moroccan food and drinks. Unfortunately, we visited during the Ramadan in 2022 and most restaurants were closed for the entire month, while others opened just for dinner. But even so, we found some street food vendors offering snacks such as fried fish, sweets and fresh fruit. But the highlight of the Medina is the Kashbah of the Udayas, a 12th century fortress that offers breathtaking views of the city and the ocean. You can't miss the Kashbak and its winding streets, which are lined with white washed buildings and traditional blue doors. So you made it to this uh, famous place old citadel I don't know if you can hear me it's really windy this is a very old um, place the old city like fortress in Rabat and it's currently uh, being uh, renovated and the streets are getting paved and stuff like that so it's that's nice but it's full of uh, uh, construction work and stuff like that and so at the end of it you're gonna find this nice area which offers a really good uh, viewpoint over the ocean here we we have Eddie as usual he's featured in all my videos today he's very talkative yes enjoy the red <laughs> a red beard guy I know he has plenty of fans here uh, so I have to tell you that the city is called Rabat and this is the Rabat Kasbah uh, and you can see the ocean it's uh, more it's it's the capital of, of Morocco it was um, I think the made the capital by the, the French people what uh, we wanted to say is that whenever you <laughs> come in Rabat you have this uh, what's this place called Medina no it's Kasbah. not Medina Kasbah. Kasbah. Kasbah it's like a citadel the old citadel which is being currently is reno uh, in renovation but you can come and walk around it's really nice beautiful and at the end of it you have this wonderful view that that's the main point you have to get here so Eddie is gonna tell us some weird interesting story about this place Eddie I want to come to tell you that there were pirates here and from what I read on uh, you know my good friend Google uh, there was basically a republic of pirates in the nearby city of Saleh but it also included in Rabat so uh, the pirates from the Barbary Coast used to come here and I assume drink and kill each other and it was a lot of fun you can just imagine it it was all down here in Rabat let's start a new pirate republic after visiting the Kashbak we enjoyed an afternoon walk on the Rabat waterfront walkway which is also known as Corniche this beautiful promenade 
offers stunning views of the Atlantic Ocean and it's a popular destination for locals and tourists alike. The walkway stretches for several kilometers, but we only walk for a couple of them. However, I find this to be a great place to take a leisurely straw jog or bike while enjoying the fresh sea air and breathtaking views. Along the Corniche, you can find a variety of cafes, restaurants, ice cream shops where you can grab a bite to eat and take in the beautiful views of the ocean. The walkway is also a popular spot for fishing and water sports such as jet skiing and windsurfing. So after visiting the Kashbag, you can take this walkway to reach the Mohammed VI Museum of Modern and Contemporary Art. The museum features a variety of modern and contemporary artwork from Moroccan and international artists and it's a great place to explore and learn more about the vibrant art scene of Morocco. So after an afternoon walk in Rabat and it took me to the most wonderful place, we saw uh, the old uh, citadel, we are in the Medina right now actually uh, we uh, went for a walk on the waterfront, uh, admired the ocean, stuff like that. It was really nice and romantic, although nobody said, I love you, but it's okay. And now we are in the Medina, we found this uh, uh, cute and affordable uh, Riyadh. As I said before, maybe I didn't, um, the houses in Morocco, uh, the traditional houses are called uh, Riyadh and basically they have this special structure they have an inside uh, interior um, yard like garden and all the windows of the rooms are inwards um, so this is uh, how the um, hotel looks like basically you have this room I'm gonna show you the room this is uh, Eddie a very excited Eddie and as I said the window is uh, facing the inside the inner garden or yard it's a small one and these are the other rooms so tour of the room sure just step inside this is step inside you're stepping inside this is <laughs> this is cool. yeah. make yourself comfortable on this tiny but uh, elegant hallway and you walk into the main house Please right here lead the way don't get lost this is the bed and the house. <laughs> this is art. And this is. Don't be overwhelmed here. This is the bathroom. Can you? Step in the side. <laughs> Get out. It's, it's better with the lights off. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> now it's good. So, to show me the bathroom. Do I have to point at it? <laughs> the bathroom, oh, please. Uh, it's okay, it's good, it's good. Yeah. It's good. Uh, now, time for some shower bath. Rabat, the capital of Morocco, is a city with a rich history and a vibrant culture. The administrative center of Rabat is a modern and impressive area with wide streets and grand buildings that house the country's government offices and institutions. The government of Morocco is a constitutional monarchy with a parliamentary system of government. The king of Morocco, currently King Mohammed VI, is the head of the state and holds significant executive powers including the ability to appoint and dismiss government officials and dissolve parliament. The Moroccan government is led by a prime minister who is appointed by the king and is responsible for forming and leading the government. Good morning from Rabat. I haven't put my... I don't have my microphone on so I hope I'm gonna be able to use this. Um, here is Eddie. It's really early morning, like 9.30. It's not that early. <laughs> not that early, but because it's still Ramadan right now, um, people are not really, um, they have shorter uh, working hours, I guess. Um, so most of the shops in the, the Medina are closed right now. Uh, we are going for one last stroll around, take some pictures and then heading to the train station. The next morning in Abad, we woke up early to revisit the Kashbak. We have been there the previous day, but it was crowded with tourists, 
so we decided to go back early in the morning and it turned out to be a great decision and a great photo opportunity. The white and blue streets of the Kashbach in Rabat are a stunning visual feast that cannot be missed. The white and blue walls of the houses create a striking contrast that is both calming and refreshing to the eyes. Walking through the streets of the Kashbach, you can enjoy the calming and tranquil atmosphere of this picturesque neighborhood, especially early in the morning where there is nobody outside. The narrow alleys and quiet courtyards are perfect for exploring and taking pictures. The blue color of the doors and windows is said to be inspired by the blue city of Shepshawan, another stunning destination in Morocco that I will soon post here in my YouTube. We were the only ones there strolling through the beautiful narrow streets and it was such a surreal experience. The quiet and serene atmosphere gave us the opportunity to take some great pictures of the cashback's ancient walls and street and beautiful blue doors. You can see only a couple of fishermen nearby. This man was gathering mussels with his bare hands as the entire area around the Kashbak was full of them. That's how you know for sure that Rabat has fresh seafood. After spending some time at the Kashbak, we took a longer stroll through the city. We wanted to see more of Rabat's vibrant culture and stunning architecture. And it was a complete delight to take some time to relax and take in the peaceful surroundings. As the day went on, we knew that we have to make our way back to the train station to continue our trip. Our next stop was Casablanca, another stunning city that we cannot wait to explore. We said our goodbyes to Rabat and its charming people and streets and headed towards the train station, excited for what was to come. Rabat was an unexpected hidden gem and I would love to go back. The city's ancient history, vibrant culture and stunning architecture made our visit an unforgettable experience. We'll be back Rabat, but for now it's time to discover the wonders of Casablanca. Thank you for watching my video and see you in the next one where we discover Casablanca for the first time. Safe travels!